Hey guys, so continuing on with our one takes because of editing software being locked up until the end of the month um, and tomorrow being my 100th uh, minute ministry video. So tomorrow's video is going to be very special. In fact, I'm going to do tomorrow's video and then I'm going to take the rest of the week off. Um, I will start back again. 101 will come out um, on Monday of next week. So that being said, for 99 though, I wanted to talk about the train of his robe. Got a minute? So the train of his robe, whenever you look at Isaiah 6, um, it this, uh, this is the famous scriptures where um, Isaiah is taken up into in a vision into heaven and God asks, um, who will go for us? And Isaiah says, here I am I, send me. And um, when whenever we look at this, you know, God is sitting on his throne and the train train of his robe is going down and filling the temple. And so um, the when Isaiah sees this, we know that Isaiah is in front of God because he can see God's face because he says, oh me, I am a man of unclean lips. You know, like I'm, I'm, I'm dead. <laughs> Like, no one can look at the face of the Lord and, you know, like, look and stand in front of him and, and live. And, um, you know, we see that also with Moses uh, back in Exodus, um, whenever uh, he gets to see God and God is going to walk by. But Moses, you can't look at the front of me because there's the glory that's before me, the things that I, you know, I'm going to do, that that's before me. Um, and if you see that, you'll die. But if you look at the train of my robe if you look at what's behind me then you're going to see all the glory of the things that i've done is what the lord is basically saying there in exodus and so whenever we look at the train of the robe filling the temple we see that that means that the glory of all these things that god has done fills the temple and allows it to carry uh, an essence of who God is. And so whenever we take this and we add it to us, we are full of all the testimonies and all the wonderful things that God has done up to this point. And so that being said, if we overcome by the word of the lamb and by the um, by the by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimonies, that word of the testimony that is supposed to fill us and then we use that to remind us that we can climb up and we can actually go before God. And if we go before him, then you know, we stand before him and we can see the things that he has planned for us in the future and he has planned um for his own glory ahead of time and we get to co-labor with him he you know isaiah is standing before god and he says who will go for us he's saying who will go for us because he's got a plan in front of him he's got something that is going to bring about god god's going to bring about his glory in this thing and he wants someone to work with it because it's in front of him and so whenever we rely only on the, the testimony of yesterday. We miss out on the things for tomorrow. But if we don't have the testimony of yesterday, then we can't climb up and get to the front. Um, so both of those things are important. And so, um, yeah, just I, I just encourage you, write down and read your testimonies. Um, fill yourself with them. And then don't allow yourself to... Um, just become complacent there, but push to the next thing and push to, you know, get, get before the Lord and say, God, I just want, I just want to work with you. So guys, I'm excited for tomorrow. You should be too. And um, yeah, thanks for taking a minute.